We're going to take you shopping to one of our local supermarkets to see what items are available and also check out some prices. Then we're going to go to Corso Italia to do a little bit of shopping. Then we're going to show you a life-changing device that we purchased and we use it every day in our house. You're going to be shocked. <laughs> Enjoy. As you walk in, here are the sale items. Kinder, kinder, everywhere's kinder. As we enter, we have the bread department. Yes, Coca-Cola. And all types of cookies. Biscuits, breakfast things. You know, I love going to the fruit and vegetable markets every day, but every once in a while, one-stop shopping here at the supermarket. So what you do is you pick whatever item you want to get. So for instance, I'm gonna get some zucchini. Grab a couple of them. And then you put in the code of 142. You weight it and put the price on. 142. They have the ready-made soups. I don't even know how to describe this refrigerated section because there's a little bit of everything here from pasta fresca to salamis to cheeses, butters. I think I've told you guys about Philadelphia cream cheese. Super, super popular. I have rolled meat with Philadelphia cream cheese, pizza with Philadelphia cream cheese, but we like to get the Italian one. Types of yogurt as well. This is a fairly new product here as well. Fresh pancakes, always crepes and things for cakes. Here's some more yogurts for children. The high protein craze has arrived here as well. X section is a little bit empty. Usually it is filled. They don't have our favorite egg, but we gotta get some. And here's Giovanni, buongiorno. Buongiorno, io sono Giovanni. E oggi che abbiamo? Allora, abbiamo come contorno abbiamo cotolette di melanzane, di nocchio grigliato. Aspetta, aspetta, there's the cotoletti of eggplant. Di nocchio grigliato. There's the finocchio. Questa? Sono polpettine di verdura. Uh, polpetti di... Minestrone con aggiunta di melanzane. Minestrone meatballs, there's the... Eggplant with the breadcrumbs. E questa? Questa è una polpettina di pollo con speck e formaggio. Ooh, speck e formaggio. Ah, polpettino e questa? Stocco messinese, certo. Dei funghi per me, per favore. Ciao, Giovanni. E questa parmigiana? Sì. Oh no, see what he does is he weighs it and then without fail he puts a little bit of extra from me. See, Sicilian people are the most generous and lovely. Grazie mille, una buona giornata, Sicilian. Cannelloni, ooh, that looks good. Baked pasta. You get the picture. Questa è. E tortino di spinaci. Come? Tortino di spinaci. Tortino di spinaci con uova? Spinaci, no uova. E besciamella, grana, sale, pepe e formaggio. Ok, so this has bechamel. Sì, formaggio. Cheese. Grana, grana. Grana, grana cheese. Sì. Si. E sale e pepe. Salt and pepper and spinach. Si. That looks great. And once in a while we'll get some roasted chicken, roasted potatoes. Good for soup the next day. Polo alla schiedo. And they even have some toys for kids and all types of games. <laughs> now I'm going to go to the deli. You have to take a number. I'm 33 and we're at 30. Good morning. Good morning. Buongiorno. I love these guys. He's coming in. Cheese wheel coming in. <laughs> this is a great deli that we have here. So locally with the cheese and 
olives and sun-dried tomatoes. Chichu is really nice and let's see what's for sale. Remember, this is euros. Right now the euros are going up, up, up against the dollar. And then let's see the prosciuttos, the salamis. Right now the euro is about 109, 110 to the US dollar. What's Chichu doing here? Stiamo cercando di riempire il pasto. Magia questa. Asiago. Asiago fresco. Sì. Asiago fresco. Attendo il giovane. I'm getting some parmigiano raggiano. Perfetto. E olive questa qua. Queste nere. Sì, questa uh, olive nero. Sì, un po'. Basta, basta, okay. basta. Perfetto. I don't like to get a lot so I can come back and buy more. <laughs> grazie, grazie, ciao. Bechamel and creams for cooking. And this is the milk I get. All right, let's go see what's at the fish section. You gotta come here at the right time of the day to make sure you have all the fresh selection. What's the stocco or bacala? Oh, there's both. Stocco and bacala. Hmm. Great selection today. The decision has been made. I'm gonna make some stocco. Okay. Faccio stocco oggi. Si. The difference is bacala e con sale, vero? Quando la fa? Questo con sale. Bacala con sale, questo no. Beautiful piece of stocco. Si, quanto a chilo? 20 euro. E bacala? 17,90. That's a beautiful piece. Vediamo, aspetta, un, forse un'altra... No, va bene. All right, let's see. Salmone quanto è a chilo? Oh. Salmone è 17,90. 17 euros for 2.2 pounds. So there's your selection over here. The sepia is 24. Fish espada. Fish espada quanto è? Quello fresco è a 25. 25? 25 euro a kilo for fresh swordfish. Wow. All right, and then let's go over here to our meat section. And there's all types of chain things like chicken, and there's some turkey and chicken breast. Let me see, oh, this is Alfred's new favorite, the spare ribs. Here are the wings with, that are marinated. And then over here we have the beef. Here's some rolled meat in votini. Some more, that's pork over here in votini with the pistachio. And this is follo. And then there are two types of sausages. This is the plain one, and also there's the one with the parsley, the tomatoes, and a little bit of cheese. And yes, they do have cereal, biscuits, jams, Nutella, gotta have the Nutella. Here are the teas, and yes, people here love the Nesquik. Here's the rice department. There's some for risotto. There's the arancini one, and the sea salts, and all types of salts. You know what's really difficult to find? <laughs> chicken broth. This is one of the only supermarkets that has the chicken broth. Tuna, 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 and more tuna. Here we have the olive oil selection. Not the biggest one, but this is the one we get, Barbera. All right, and here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the pasta aisle. And this is whole wheat. This is the whole wheat section right here. 
that's what he made the cannelloni that you saw over with Giovanni, the Siciliano cannelloni. And here is our pasta selection, which has gone up about 50% in this shop from last year. I think I did a video exactly a year ago around here, around this period in this very shop. This one went up as well. Here are the sandwich breads. Alfred likes his Americano. Yes, we do get the fresh bread at the bakery as well, but for some cases, this is what Alfred likes to have. Here's the wine and beer and liquor selection. You guys see the prices? This is just so you get a little bit of a feel of what our local supermarket is like. Apple Spritz is my favorite summer drink with a little bit of Prosecco, a slice of orange, yum. What do you guys like to drink? Which beer, if it's beer? Good selection here, even some Heineken. Here's the checkout counter, and you know what they do at the checkout counter, right? Try to entice you to buy one more thing. Over here, there's even some chocolates. So there you go, a little peek inside our local supermarket. We did really good. So that's one of the supermarkets that we frequent. I really like going there. The people are very nice, very generous, very helpful. And in that small supermarket, I can find just about anything I need for the household. So for me, it's a great stop. Of course, it doesn't take away from going to the small mom and pop markets that we love doing as well. But in that place, you've got the meats, you've got the fish, you've got everything in one place. How's the prices of eggs? Prices of eggs, as in, in everything, has gone up about 30 to 40 percent. So, and even today, the shelves were a little bit empty of eggs, but it is Friday today when we're filming this, and uh, by Monday it'll be stocked up. Can I ask you an important question? Ask me. How about the price of fish? Price of fish has gone up incredibly. Fresh uh, swordfish is 25 euro a kilo, which is 2.2 pounds. 12, that 12 is euro a significantly pound, more. Higher. It's yeah. usually 17 or 19 euro. So it is winter, um, and the prices, of course, of fuel has gone up. So fishermen going out, of course, have to charge more. But overall, it's still much cheaper than the United States when I'm going to a supermarket and compare prices of just about everything. Typically in January and February, uh, the fishermen freeze their bunions off when they're outside. So obviously they don't go out uh, fishing as much. Once the warm weather comes, though, it'll drop. Didn't we see something cheap last week? Remember we almost stopped the car? It was something we were going to buy. Do you remember? No. Okay. It was, it was two. <laughs> I guess it was tuna. I was very impressed. It, that with was the at the fish market. It was at the fish market. All right, now let's go to Corso Italia, one of the main streets in downtown Catania. Now I'm on Corso Italia in downtown Catania, one of the main streets, about 10 minute walk from the historic section, the touristy section where we always take you. This street has lots of palaces, restaurants, cafes, and high-end store. So I'm going to take you inside some of them and don't go anywhere because I'm going to show you what I bought. It was an impulse buy and I'm excited so stay tuned. Saldi, saldi, everywhere, saldi. Everyone's having their winter sale right now. It's a pretty long street. It goes all the way down 
to the historic section. Whoops. There's the bus. And there's the sea. Straight ahead. Sconte discount. Milania. Sì, sì. So Milania here is come si dice? Eh, questa è Villa de Grado, il negozio è Soreb. Soreb. E questa villa? In stile Liberty. Liberty style. Look at this chair. E che significa? È uno stile architettonico. Ok, so there you go. There's one of two of them here. So I just stopped to get a little bit of a coffee at a place I've never been at. And here's the gelato choices. And it's lunchtime, so they have all types of things for lunch. Looks pretty good. But you know what I'm getting? A macchiato. That looks really good. Bellissimo. What do you guys think? I'm thinking of getting this. Isn't this a cute shop? This is called Impulse Buying. Io grazia. Grazie. I walked in here and I really wasn't going to buy anything. And I did it. Grazie. E dove sei? Di Catania. Di Catania, Catania. Sì, sì, sì. Oh boy, look at those boots. Bellissimo. Sì, abbiamo cose molto carine. Molto carine. United Colors of Benetton are everywhere here in Sicily. There's even one on Via Etnea. Wow. Unfortunately, a lot of these places close for lunch. A few times a week, Alfred and I go out to get some coffee, to just get out of the house, talk about some business, talk about some of the plans that we have coming up. And I'm gonna take you inside one of those places now. And this is where we get our coffee. Buongiorno, look who's here. Sylvia is back. Qualche giorno tu non sei. Tu non sei sempre. In pomeriggio. No, io mai pomeriggio, sempre di mattina. Sì, sì, infatti, she's usually the morning girl and we're here a little bit late. And look at that coffee machine. That's how it's done. <laughs> so, there you go. This is one of the spots to sit in. Ciao! And he's got quite the collection of liquor. And what we usually get is an Americana and a macchiato. And look, she's already has it going. I didn't even say anything. She's already got my coffee going. Look at her, she's so cute. <laughs> she's always smiling and look at her beautiful braid. Sua cappella bellissima. And there's my macchiato, there's my cafe, and my aqua frizzante. Shut. We never have to say a word. 
Grazie Gioia! Now recently I got a I got an email from one of our fans asking me, Alfred, if you had to pick just one thing in Sicily that you would admire the most, what what would it be? What's the one thing that you would admire about Sicily? Is it the the climate? Is it the the beautiful scenery, the food, what? And the answer is those are all nice, but the the one thing that I admire about S Sicily actually is the character of the Sicilian people. That never say die attitude. That if I don't have it, we'll make do attitude. That's kind of, I think, brought on by centuries of being oppressed. And I've been thinking about it quite a bit. I've been thinking about the role that the mother has instilling these values uh, into the character from basically the cradle till death. I mean, it's just amazing how strong the women are here, and you could see it in the character, okay? Whether it's keeping the family together for family dinners, which you don't see that in the United States too often. Family dinners every single day. When you see the mother taking the kids to school every day, I mean, literally walking them to school, going to mass, having morals so I think that is primarily the number one thing that I love it's like the United States of America used to be maybe in the 60s before it kind of changed a little bit but that's the answer to my clients question my fans question rather of what's the one thing and the one thing is the undying and unbreakable spirit of the people that we live here with. Ciao. Okay, talking about reducing your carbon footprint, behold our new beeper juicer that is not electric. This? You can buy beeper online, by the way, and I highly remember, uh, recommend it. Well, let me, so let's tell them that we saw this on New Year's Eve for breakfast, and I was like, Oh my God, imagine if we had one of those because as you can see, we love our citrus fruits and also pomegranates. So we got these ready. I'm going to show you how to make them. Have you guys ever had pomegranate juice? Look at this. It may look a little bit ugly, but this is Sicilian pomegranate and it's juicy, juicy, juicy. This thing is so much fun, so cool, and it is in a prominent place in our kitchen. Usually every morning I have lemon juice and for Alfred, I make a little bit of a mix of Mandarin, tangerine, uh, oranges, whatever is in season. But right now, the mandarino and tangerino are very much. Look at Mandarin. This. Look, 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 look. Tangerine. So good. This is a burst of vitamins, antioxidants, and all types of good things. And so this is how we start our morning. Saluta tutti! Alfredo, you are absolutely correct. The people of Sicily make this place so warm, so welcoming. And just right before we were filming this, believe it or not, because we always start a conversation with people here, and inevitably, where are you from? Where do you live? Blah, blah, blah. And it turns out one of the women that we were talking to is the wife of our chestnut guy, the chestnut guy that we've been bringing to you for nine years. In fact, our very first season of Union Sicily in 2014, we featured him. The last time we did was in uh, 2020, Fall Foods of Sicily. He stands at a uh, street and does the roasted chestnuts. So it was so cool to finally meet his wife and his niece. Her name is Pucci. That was her nickname. And her, her, uh, her niece was Giuse here? Gi Giuseppina. Yeah, Fina or Josephine was her name. And it it's and her niece is Christina, and then her daughter, I can't remember her name, six years old. But what great thing. We just spark up conversations like we did with Chichu, our friend Chichu, who uh, comes here every that's once in a while. That's the whole thing about, about, that's what I'm saying about Sassing and Zester. Yeah. Is that they're very open. No one, no one is, it's not like you're walking down, uh, you know, a street in uh, America that could be a rough and tumble place. There are rough and tumble places, don't get me wrong. Of course there is, wrong, Alfred. Generally speaking... 
very it's, warm, very it's nice. A paradise. And yeah. I have to tell you guys that it's so interesting that when people, you know, people say, "Where are you from?" and we say, "United States." Wow, United States! But things are better in the United States. What are you doing here? Inevitably, we get asked that question all the time, and I'm like, "No, no, 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 no. We like living here." really like living here. You know, f to a certain extent, the, the grass is always greener in somebody else's yard. You know, Americans want to come here to live. Italians want to go there to so to live. It's just unbelievable. Yeah. Last and night also, I caught uh, her looking at some video of Budapest. I thought I had to pack my suitcase because we'd be moving. She was like, oh my God. But thank God she got over it. <laughs> but going back to it, you know, always the United States, anything American, you saw in the supermarket, all American products are starting to come in. It's a big thing here. As you said, people always like to think that the grass is always greener on the other side. But also remember that foreign products are very attractive. Uh, also well, for us in the United States, Italian products, <clears throat> French products, all that very attractive because it's something different. And they're more expensive. American products obviously are more expensive here because of the 20% or 25% transportation costs add on right now. Well, I don't know if a lot of those stuff is made in the United States or it's made here or other European countries and they just use the yes. label. So Some that's of it something like Coca-Cola is bottled is bottled in Italy. Yeah. For example, and the like interesting thing is they try to mimic a lot of those items so there'll be something on the aisle that is like our Pringles or something, but they try to mimic it. So that is very cool. I have to be I have to be honest with you, Esther. The Sicilian or Italian version of a Milky Way Milky Way candy bar. Oh, you love that stuff. Or a Kit Kat is twice as flavorful as the American version. It's when was the last time you had a Kit Kat in the United States? Well, the one, the ones we bought, a Kit Kat in the United States, is just seven years ago, maybe. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I had the version here just recently. She bought a stack, and I think I ended up eating the whole stack of them, if, yep. I'm, if I'm correct. Yep. <laughs> It was very good. <laughs> it was very good. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video of you, me, and Sicily. Please subscribe to this channel. We're over 10,000. So excited. And of course, we'll see you on another episode. And thank you, thank you, thank you for spending this time here with us. I have one one quick announcement before we go. Is uh, our new, newly refurbished you, uh, The Sicilian Project website is operational. If you have a chance, go to www.thesicilianproject.com and follow us there. Uh, follow that wonderful webpage. See what we're doing in Sicily. It's, That's our nonprofit, really and we really are remarkable. so proud to be part of it. So, see you on another video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ciao, arrivederci. Savannah Diga. Ciao.